We are now joined by former Mets general manager Omar Mamnaya. And Omar, obviously, you have plenty of experience of sitting at that negotiating table. So let's start with the situation with Kumar Rocker and the Mets. How hard is it for an organization to walk away from a talent that they thought so highly of they took him with a top 10 pick? Well, it's very hard. Very hard because there's a lot of work that goes into that draft pick. As you know, all the scouts and you 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 line up and especially a special talent, at least uh, watching uh, uh, Kumar pitch this year. And uh, so it's very difficult, but I'm pretty sure that when those decisions are made, they're done through uh, a uh, going through a process of information, medical people. Um, and, you know, I've been there um, and but you always have to. You know, you, you have the information in front of you and you trust your professionals that are surrounding you before you make that call. But it is difficult, uh, but that's why when you're in these positions, you have to make tough calls in the best interest of the organization. All right, now to the field, and we saw the best of the Mets with a come-from-behind walk-off win on Saturday and then maybe the worst of the Mets with their inability to score on Sunday. When you look at this team right now, do you see a resilient team that continues to find ways to win or a team that's skating on thin ice? Oh, no doubt. Very resilient team. Just this weekend, just this week, just this homestand. You think about the throw that uh, 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 Conforto made to get that, that, that to, to save that game. And then, of course, you talked about yesterday's game, the comeback, one strike down. It's been going on all year, and that's what I like about this team. It's a very resilient team, and you never, they, they just never out of it. So I do believe in this team and their resiliency. Are you concerned, though, about the lack of offense, or do you think this lineup can put it together and turn it around? No, I mean, look, I think the lack of offense so far has been inconsistent. I do believe the history of these players, they're going to hit. They've hit before. You look what they did in 2019 and to some extent in 2020, and then adding on bias to this team helps a lot. I think offensively they will be fine. I think they will be, you know, they're better than what they've done so far. So to me, going to the back end of this uh, the, the, the season, at least you know month, they uh, they will score runs. They have power uh, and add a speed out here with bias. So I I I believe in this offense is going to come around. Yes. All right, Omar, the trade deadline certainly created a ton of excitement across all of baseball with marquee players moving all over the league. But that's it now. No waiver wire deals this year. So how helpless will general managers feel for the next two months knowing there's little they can really do to help their teams? Well, that's why you really – now you have to trust the farm system. you got to trust the guys you have in AAA. And pretty much the players know that. But you know what? They went out and made some moves to help the team on the 30th. The guys in the clubhouse know that. Now you really, you have to count on those guys and the team all, throughout the year have had great uh, great support from some of those um, AAA guys that have come up. The, you know, now you got Amora coming up. It's a deep AAA team, but it is, forget about getting guys from other teams. It's just not going to happen. So it's going to have to all happen within the organization. And I think uh, they have a pretty, you know, what they've done so far is, uh, is showing that they have guys there. And they, you know, you have to trust those guys and give them a chance. And obviously, the Mets have been getting contributions from unlikely sources all year. Omar Mernaya, thanks for joining us here on Geico Sports Night.